Henry Joseph Church could have been anything he wanted. He chose to cook. The key, he said, jazz. Good morning. I see you met Charlie. Not officially. Lord in Charlotte, my name is Mr. Church. When Mr. Church came into our lives, I wanted him gone. I hope you don't mind. I bring books with me every place I go. I hate reading. But over time, I couldn't imagine life without him. Mr. Church, I'd like to check out a book. What kind of a deal did Richard make with you? I was asked to cook for you and your child till you passed on. And through it all, <gasps> I never knew Mama was sick. I never knew anything until much later. You are so beautiful. Accepted to Boston University. I'm so proud of you. Why do you care? You won't be around to see it anyway. <laughs> My mama had been the sun to me. She always accompanied him. And Mr. Church? He was like the moon. Cool, calm, and always there. Turn down the lights tonight. The moon's off. What's gonna happen now? That you can call Boston University and tell him that Charlotte Brooks will be attending. It's funny how life has a way of moving forward. I thought by now you'd be a very serious novelist. I guess you could say we were lost after Mama died. Lost. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just okay, now you got to go. Sorry. You uh, one rule and you break. What is it with all these secrets and lies? I just wanted to tell you, Mr. Church. But wherever life takes you, and no matter how hard it gets, you can always find your way back home. Surprise! Aren't you going to ask me how it happened? I know how girls get pregnant, Charlotte. Charlie, you can't go living with your cook forever. My cook? Richard set aside enough money for Mama to live six months. Do you know who paid all of our bills all those years after that? Mr. Church, he saved us. Do you have a place to stay? She lives with me. You gave me the most important thing life can offer. You gave me a family.